Hi, my name's Greg, and I'm going to talk to you about themed pub crawls. And yes, I do dress like this all the time. Um, okay, so for me, and I'm kind of waiting for the slide. Yeah, yeah. They promised they'd fix that. This is supposed to say it all started with Santa. And for me, it did all start with Santa. I went to the, one of the first anti-cons in North Portland, and I saw all these people gathered together, dressed like Santa's out, having a good time. I saw the theater. I felt the community. I drank the beer. And I said to myself, this is something that I want to do. This is something I want to bring to Portland because I love this city. And then a year went by, and I didn't do anything. And I went to another Santa con, and they said, oh, God, that's right. I want to do that. So with some friends, I put together this event called Supercon, and it gave a lot of great people here in Portland an excuse to dress up like superheroes on, in January and go from bar to bar and play silly games and kind of enliven this city that we live in. And we got lucky. The weather was, like, really nice. Um, and we had such a good time that, and made so many friends that uh, we decided we should do more events. So I started doing stuff like the Fiesta de San Maximon and Pirates vs. NinjaCon and like other stuff. And I thought, this is not, you know, rocket surgery or brain science. Anybody could do this. Why don't I come here and tell you guys what it takes to do a con and then maybe even challenge you to do something more. So first of all, think of a theme. Um, a theme is like a party where you tell folks, this is what we're going to do, and so they know what to do. If you just say, I'm going to have a costume party, people show up and they're like, uh, here's my tutu, you know? But if you say, it's Pirates versus Ninja Cons, and the, you know, then they're going to pick a side and they're going to come in emotionally invested. <laughs> I guarantee. Yeah, guess who was drinking when he made his PowerPoint? Um, <laughs> so anyway... Once you've got your theme, pick your bars. Pick about five bars, ideally about five minutes in between each one of them, because uh, you're going to get complaining if you go much more than that. Go to the bars. Tell them you're coming. Let them know you're going to show up. It's just the, the polite thing to do. And you want to you wanna bring them business, not hassle. Okay? Um, once, you've done, once you've done that, and you've picked your date, and you've got your team, just go ahead. Just go ahead and do it, um, you know, and, and see what happens. You'll be surprised at how much fun you have and how, how awesome it is. Um, I should also mention, oh, I forgot. You, told, you, do need to, you do need to advertise. You're going to use your social media sites like your Facebook, stuff like that. However you found out about this, this tonight, you'll probably want to use something like that. Um, but I think what's more important is to consider... Why, why would you do it? Why would you go and do a pub crawl? And if you're thinking, oh, well, to make money, then I can't help you because I've never made money on a pub crawl and I don't want to. What I'm doing pub crawls for is I want to give a gift to the city of Portland. Portland gives me so much weird, strange, awesome community that I want to give it back. And the way I do it is I get a bunch of people to dress up in costumes and wander around, support small businesses, and, uh, and, you know, make the city a little bit happier place, give people a laugh. Um, so that's, that's why I think you should do it. I think you should do it because this is a great city and it needs more stuff like that. But I have limitations. And I can see somewhere out in space, somewhere out there is something, maybe not better than a pub crawl, but different than a pub crawl. And that is the idea that, uh, that we could be inspired to do something that creates that sense of community, that creates that sense of idea, that sense of theater, and at the same time isn't necessarily just another pub crawl. I have a, like I said, I, I'm not smart enough to figure it out. I'm kind of challenging you guys to, to figure out what's going to make that happen. And maybe it's something as simple as everybody dresses like rock stars and goes to, a, goes to record stores and buys records, and then at the end of it, you go to a bar. I know, I can't let go of the bar. You go to a bar that's got a record player, and you play records. And you will be this happy when you run your first pub crawl or whatever crawl. 
there's got to be a new kind of metric, a new paradigm for, for the pub crawl, the theme pub crawl. So go for it. Go out there and do it. Make something new that I am not smart enough to figure out. And please, please invite me because I want to see it. Thank you. Stop it.